Good evening, everyone. It's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. And today we're talking about feminine energy. That's right, feminine energy. What the heck? What does that mean? Well, uh, actually, I don't think I need to explain that for my tribe. I think my tribe understands uh, what feminine energy means. It is not female. It's not a, it's not a woman, necessarily. Um, it is uh, feminine energy, right? Which is different than masculine energy. They're different. It doesn't mean man and woman, though obviously women uh, house feminine energy and men typically house masculine energy, but men can also have feminine energy and women can also have masculine energy. So it's not, um, it is not uh, only for women or, or only, right, masculine is not only for men. Here's, here's what I've noticed um, and here's why I think this is happening. I think there is a rise in feminine energy, and I think that the world is ready for this. I think the world wants, is hungry for feminine energy. Um, so let me just give you a little, uh, let me see if I just go through what is there for me, what I'm present to about all of this. Um, in the, And we'll, we'll put it in the face of marketing, but I think in the space of, uh, in, in the world, um, expansion is very much a masculine conversation. Like we think about like uh, dominion, conquering, expanding, um, there's a lot of like, go out and conquer the world kind of thing. That's masculine energy. And I think we've done that for a long time. We've had hundreds and hundreds of years now of expanding and expanding and expanding through masculine energy, right? And I think the world now is, is starting to, uh, our pendulum, let's use the pendulum analogy. So our pendulum has been swinging masculine energy for a long time. And I think the world is now wanting to balance itself with more of the feminine, right? Which obviously women are naturally uh, gifted with feminine energy. Um, as a man myself, um, I would say that I have, uh, I'm very in touch with my own feminine energy. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't, I don't need to explain this to you if you're in my tribe, but that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm walking around as a woman. That means that I'm, uh, feminine energy is very creative. It's very empathetic. Uh, it seeks first to understand, not to control and dominate. Um, it listens. Feminine energy listens very well. Feminine energy supports and nurtures. Feminine energy is nurturing. Yes. <clears throat> so um, take all of that and you can just sort of flip it around in the opposite for masculine energy. Right? Masculine energy doesn't listen so much as it does like go. It, it goes. It's task oriented and it goes. It doesn't listen. It doesn't wait. So, you know, masculine energy is a counterpart to feminine energy. But here's, here's why this matters to marketing. So much marketing has been done in the masculine energy where it is uh, tell and sell. It is uh, masculine energy inside of marketing is very much about like, I know the answers. You don't know the answers. So you need my product and my service. I'm going to tell you, you're going to listen to me. That's very masculine energy. And I think that we as consumers, we as humans have um, been around that so much now that we're ready for what's something new. We're ready, we're ready to not just be told and sold what to do. We want to be heard and understood. To be heard and understood is, is very much in feminine energy. That's where that comes from. That's, that's what that is. And this is why you're starting to see the rise of, not just the rise of feminine energy working, like in terms of what people are responding to. So feminine energy inside of marketing is working because people respond to that. People want to, people want to buy in a safe environment. That's feminine energy that creates that safe environment. And so <clears throat> again, as, as humans, as consumers, we are, we are now wanting to be understood and to be understood requires that someone uh, be uh, not only listen to us, but understand us, be empathetic about us. And this is where I, I believe marketing is shifting to. Um, now, here's the good news for women. I believe that the world is, we're, we're, we're ready for you. We're waiting for you. And if you're a man, right, and you're not in touch with your feminine energy, then this is your opportunity to begin to practice and flex the muscle of empathy and begin to lean into how do you listen more than talk this is so classic. Like this, um, let me just give you classic stereotype of, you know, picture 
um, an older guy who's like always talking and his wife is very quiet and listening and the guy is always talking and the woman's always listening like it's so it's very stereotypical i get that and and yet it is a great uh m- m- um picture in your mind of how feminine masculine energy works but again <clears throat> The world is now ready for you as a woman or you as a man to lean into your feminine energy. We're ready for that to rise. And you're seeing women begin to step into positions of, pol- uh, positions of power in politics, in business um, over the last 30 to 60 years. Like obviously there was a moment, there was a tipping point where that happened, where women were asserting themselves into their own power, embracing their power. Um, but there is a snowball happening of this feminine energy. And like I said, the world is ready for this. The world is ready for you. If you have, if you are a woman, first of all, the world is ready for you to show up. The world is ready for you to show up. I think sometimes it would be if I were a woman, um, I don't have to, I, I don't have to say it that way. As a man who's in touch with his feminine energy, I can tell you that it's intimidating to step into the world of masculine energy and show up, right? Feminine energy is nurturing. Masculine energy can be intimidating. But the world, the rest of the world, is ready for you to show up. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you to understand us, to listen to us, to invite us into a conversation where we could actually share what it is we want to share and be heard and be understood. And that's that's feminine energy is required for that exchange to happen. <clears throat> so <clears throat> here's the deal. I'll wrap it up with this. <clears throat> Again, um, in the context of marketing, you need to begin to just listen and understand who your people are. Like how, Like how are you serving them? And as you begin to understand who they are and how you're listening to them, you're going to begin to <clears throat> find ways to come alongside of them <clears throat> and not to try to take what you have to sell and force it upon people, which is very masculine energy. You're going to take what you have and you're going to go, how does this fit? You're going to seek first to understand, <clears throat> and then you're going to figure out how this fits. <clears throat> and you're going to figure out how it fits for their benefit, not for yours. For your benefit is very masculine energy. For their benefit is very feminine energy. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so um, again, I'm not going to give you, th- there's not a lot of answers that we need here. We just, we're just giving you <clears throat> the mindset for this modern marketing. This is modern marketing, gang. This is it. And the world has been counterbalanced, is now, its pendulum is now swinging towards feminine energy. Um, I get to go to a conference tomorrow. I'm, I'm a sponsor at, a, at an event <clears throat> the next few days here in Portland called Show Up Live. And this event is for entrepreneurial women, and it's about um, how they can show up. And as I'm preparing my heart, which is a feminine conversation, and my mind, which is probably more of a masculine conversation, um, I just keep thinking about these 100 to 200 women that'll be in this room the next two days, and how much I want them to know that the world is ready for them that every one of us has a unique gift and perspective to share, that when we share it, the world is a better place for having shared it. But if they don't show up because they're afraid uh, in, in a nurturing feminine energy, it's intimidating to show up inside of a world that's full of masculine energy, then they might not just say what they have to say. They may not say what they've seen. And then we don't benefit from their perspective and their life experience, which is, listen, in a lot of cultures, the the older women are the are the wise ones, right? The matriarchs. They're the ones that people come to for wisdom many times in many cultures. And we don't have to wait until we're older to be able to share the wisdom that you, inside your feminine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, have seen. The world is now ready for you to share that. I would so let's wrap with this. I would be very curious to hear your conver- your uh, your perspective on this conversation. I haven't fully unpacked this conversation as you can tell. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place in this this particular video. 
But I do, I am observing something. I am noticing something and I'm attempting to put words to it in this video. I believe that the world is ready for empathy. And I believe the world wants to be understood. We as we, the people of the world, want to be understood, which requires that marketers listen and not tell. And that's very feminine energy. So, if you want to humor me, or if this is interesting to you, please, in, your, in the comments, let me know what you think. I would love to hear what you think about this conversation. It may help me put more words to what it is that I'm sensing and uh, feeling, what I'm experiencing in this, and what, what I'm trying to articulate. Okay? So, that's it for today's episode of uh, Marketing for the Rest of Us. I will drop the audio companion uh, show down below in the comments when I'm done with that, uh, where we'll come in and I'll bring some perspective, some mindset into how does this, how do we make this shift from masculine to feminine energy? But for now, that's the end of this show. I will catch you guys tomorrow for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. See ya.